All right. Hey, everyone. Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Day 2024. And this message we're going to do today, this is our message for the year of 2024. The, the theme or the thing we're focused on over the year of 2024 in the Abundant Life Blueprint. And so a couple months ago, on the Day of Atonement in 2023, it happens in the fall. The message that came through to me that day from the Lord was that the great resetting has begun. The great resetting has begun. And I wasn't too, too sure what to think about that at first, but then I was listening to one of the teachings that we have from Seven Dates with Jesus, and it was a teaching on the Jubilee. And the Jubilee was a resetting of things, a resetting of the economy, especially in Israel. All debts were forgiven. People were restored to their inheritance, to the land that God had given them. And there was just this resetting of the country of Israel at that time. And it's interesting. The Day of Atonement was actually the day that the year of Jubilee started. And this happened every 50th year in, the, in, in Israel. And so the great resetting has begun. That's the day happened on the Day of Atonement. So I've been thinking about this, this great resetting. Jesus is your jubilee. He is your great reset. He is your jubilee. He's restored you to your inheritance. He's wiped away all of your, your sins, the debt that we owed for our sins. Thinking about a fresh start. It's just a, a great encouraging idea as we get started with this new year, just a fresh start. And so I want to encourage you to take some time today to think back over the previous year, the year of 2023. What are the lessons that you gleaned from the previous year? Just take some time, meditate on those for a second, think back over the year. What are the lessons? What are the learning lessons? And we're going to bring those forward with you. But then there's probably some things that we need to let go. We need to have a resetting it. And I've really been thinking about this idea. If you had a truly had a a fresh start. Truly had a fresh start in life. What would you do differently? What principles would you live by? Now that you know what you know. And so we're going to take communion over this here in just a second today. We're going to pray. And then we're going to take communion as just a way to activate this, this great reset that we begin to set it in motion in our lives from this point on that we're going to be believing that God's going to be helping us to walk this out as we go throughout the year of 2024. But Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful. So grateful to have you in our lives. So grateful that you released us from darkness. You've transferred us into the light. You sent your one and only son. You loved us so much that you sent your son to die for us, to give us this fresh start, this great, Reset. We thank you that Jesus is our Jubilee. And Father, as we take communion today, we're just believing that as we break the bread, we're just going to be breaking free. Letting go of just any old patterns that need to be left in the past. So that we can have this fresh start in 2024. We're going to be believing that as we take the cup, the cup of thanksgiving, the cup of blessing, the cup of participation with you. That we're setting this in motion, this great reset in our lives. That Jesus is our jubilee. Setting it in motion from this point on. And Father, as we do that, we're asking that you would help us to just make the adjustments that we need to make. We had a fresh start to Teach us the principles to live by as if we walk out this fresh start. Father, we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We get this opportunity today to remember that as we start this new year, he was worthy. He is worthy. His one sacrifice made us right and holy and perfect in your sight. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name.
Quân thế các bên Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. We just thank you that we get to have this covenant relationship with you. And so, Father, I thank you for this cup. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Go ahead and take a juice. All right, so something I forgot to talk about here is that several years ago I learned that the 12 days of Christmas actually start on Christmas Day. And the eighth day of Christmas is actually New Year's Day. It's interesting. You look back in the Old Testament, you see portions of it in the Gospels that on the eighth day was when a boy was supposed to be given his name. It's the day that he was named. He was circumcised. He was named a reminder of our covenant. Think about this. A new year, a new name. We get an opportunity to name this year. So in the Abundant Life Blueprint, we're calling it the Great Reset. The Great Reset is what we're calling this year. That's what we're naming it. But I hope this is for you. If you got stories or testimonies about what God's doing in your life, Love to hear more about that. Feel free to reach out to us. I hope you're doing well. Hope you have an amazing year of 2024. Keep remembering every day the Master is with you. He loves you and nothing is impossible for him.